ancient human ancestor Littlefoot probably lived in trees, new research finds. Around 3.67 million years ago, an ancient human ancestor nicknamed Littlefoot fell about 30 feet down into a deep shaft of a cave. Today, she represents the most complete Australopithecus, pronounced Australopithecus, skeleton, and is helping researchers to learn more about our chimpanzee-like ancestors. Littlefoot likely stood over just four feet tall. She would have slept in trees to remain safe from giant predators like saber-toothed cats. And she was likely a vegetarian who munched on plants. Littlefoot had powerful hands and a special big toe that allowed for better climbing. This week, researchers studying her skeleton learned something new. They shared that Littlefoot was capable of different head movements than modern humans. This was likely due to the fact that Littlefoot spent so much time in trees and was an expert climber. Humans have lost those special abilities and don't need their heads to move as far back or forward. That discovery is thanks to the fact that Littlefoot retained her atlas, or the topmost cervical vertebrae between the head and neck. In addition to understanding more about head movements, the atlas can also share information about blood flow to the brain through vertebral arteries. The researchers discovered that the facets allowing for articulation between the head, first vertebra and second vertebra, are more concave for little foot than modern humans, said Emily Bodet, study author and researcher at the University of the Witwatersrand in Johannesburg, South Africa. This controls how the head moves up and down. These features might be useful for Australopithecus when climbing trees, Bodet said. Littlefoot's atlas is similar to those in modern chimpanzees, as are her ligaments. Chimpanzees spend about eight or nine hours a day in trees and sleep in nests they built there to remain safe from predators. Australopithecus likely did the same. The researchers were also able to estimate blood flow to the brain, based on the skull and vertebrae. Littlefoot's blood flow to the brain, and likely the use of glucose by the brain, was three times lower than modern humans. This is also similar to chimpanzees. The low investment of energy into the brain of Australopithecus could be tentatively explained by a relatively small brain of this specimen, a low-quality diet low proportion of animal products or high costs of other aspects of the biology of Australopithecus such as upright walking, Bodet said. In any case, this might suggest that the human brain's vascular system emerged much later in our history. The study published this week in the journal Scientific Reports. Previously, Bodet studied the endocast of little foot, or the imprint of the brain preserved on the inside of the skull, along with her inner ear structure. Little foot's inner ear provided insight not only about her hearing, but her sense of balance. I could demonstrate that the shape of the inner ear was compatible with activities in the trees and the ground, which is confirmed by our new study of the atlas, Bodet said. Moreover, the reconstruction of the brain showed that it was three times smaller than ours and that the organization was very different from us, meaning that the emergence of a human-like brain occurred later in our history. Compared with younger Australopithecus skeletons, Littlefoot spent more time in trees. A southern African Australopithecus specimen later than Littlefoot probably younger by about one million years may have partially lost this capacity and spent more time on the ground, like us today, Bodet said. Who was Littlefoot? Australopithecus is thought to be our potential direct ancestor, the researcher said. Studying Littlefoot provides researchers with an opportunity to look back at ancient ancestors who walked upright long before the rise of the first humans. These fossils have been found in South Africa over the years, leading to its naming as the cradle of humankind. Littlefoot got her name because she was first known based on the discovery of four foot bones found in 1995 by University of Witwatersrand researchers Ron Clark and Philip Tobias. Tobias died in 2012. From those four bones alone, they were able to determine that the creature combined both human and ape-like traits, Bodet said. The bones also revealed Littlefoot walked on two legs. Most of her skeleton was found embedded in sediment of South Africa's Strikfonitan cave, including a complete skull. It took Clark and his colleagues 20 years to painstakingly unearth it. She may not be perfect in formed body, with some bones missing, but Littlefoot is our great-great aunt many times removed, and she is perfect to me, Clark famously said when Littlefoot was revealed to the world in 2017. Since then, Littlefoot has been scanned and studied by researchers at the University of Witwatersrand, which remains her home. Bodet began studying Littlefoot in 2017. Multiple Australopithecus species lived in Africa around 3 million years ago, including Anamensis, Africanus and Afarensis like the famed Lucy skeleton. It's possible that Littlefoot belonged to the Prometheus species, but it hasn't been confirmed by the researchers yet. Australopithecus had a small brain, large teeth, and males and females were really different from each other, 
while humans have a large brain, smaller teeth, and human males and females are less distinct, Bodit said. Australopithecus could climb trees and walk on the ground while we, humans, have lost the capacity of climbing and moving in trees like Australopithecus. More questions remain about Littlefoot, and the researchers will continue studying her unique fossil. Her crushed and deformed skull presents a challenge, so they are using scans to virtually separate and reassemble the bone fragments. This will better allow them to have a complete picture of what the Australopithecus skull looked like and compare it to others. Her hip bones will also need to be virtually reconstructed. And they can also learn more about her diet based on her teeth. This is the 3.67 million year old Littlefoot skull. The view from the bottom right shows the original position of the first cervical vertebra, which tells us about her head movements and blood flow to the brain. This is an artist's illustration of the world's oldest modern bird, Asteriornis mustrachtensis, in its original environment. Parts of Belgium were covered by a shallow sea, and conditions were similar to modern tropical beaches like the Bahamas, 66.7 million years ago. This donkey skull was recovered in a Tang Dynasty nobleman's tomb. The researchers determined that she played donkey polo and was buried with her donkeys so that she may continue her favorite sport in the afterlife. Hundreds of mammoth bones found at a site in Russia were once used by hunter-gatherers to build a massive structure 25,000 years ago. A fossil of an ancient rudist clam called Toriite Sanchezi revealed that Earth's days lasted 23.5 hours 70 million years ago. This is an artist's impression of dinosaurs on prehistoric mudflat in Scotland, based on varied dinosaur footprints recovered on the Isle of Skye. A new study suggests that ostrich eggshell beads have been used to cement relationships in Africa for more than 30,000 years. This rock lined the seafloor roughly 3.2 billion years ago, providing evidence that Earth may have been a waterworld in its ancient past. These stone tools were found at the Daba site in India, showing that Homo sapiens survived a massive volcanic eruption 74,000 years ago. The remains of 48 people who were buried in a 14th-century Black Death mass grave were found in England's Lincolnshire countryside. The articulated remains of a Neanderthal have been found in Schneider Cave, representing the first discovery of its kind in 20 years. A rare disease that still affects humans today has been found in the fossilized vertebra of a duck-billed dinosaur that roamed the Earth at least 66 million years ago. Venezuelan paleontologist Rodolfo Sanchez is shown next to a male carapace of the giant turtle Stupendimis geographicus, for scale. This artist's illustration shows the newly discovered Tyrannosaurus rex relative, Thanatotherus digruterum. The newly discovered species Allosaurus gemiseni represents the earliest Allosaurus known. It was a fearsome predator that lived during the late Jurassic period millions of years before Tyrannosaurus rex. Remains found in ancient Herculaneum boathouses reveal that people trying to flee the eruption of Mount Vesuvius slowly suffocated as volcanic clouds overtook the town. The Wulong Bohansis fossil found in China's Zhehou province shows some early, intriguing aspects that relate to both birds and dinosaurs. Shell tools were recovered from an Italian cave that show Neanderthals combed beaches and dove in the ocean to retrieve a specific type of clam shell to use as tools. A closer look at the Heslington brain, which is considered to be Britain's oldest brain and belonged to a man who lived 2600 years ago. Amazingly, the soft tissue was not artificially preserved. Researchers from Russia's Ross Institute of Archaeology excavated the burial sites of four women who were buried with battle equipment in southwestern Russia and believed to be Amazon warrior women. The oldest woman found in the graves bore a unique rare ceremonial headdress. Team Tyrannosaurus rex were fleet-footed with knife-like teeth, serving as mid-sized carnivores before they grew into giant bone-crushing adults. A Homo erectus skullcap discovered in central Java, Indonesia, reveals how long they lived and when the first human species to walk upright died out. This is an artistic reconstruction of Lola, a young girl who lived 5,700 years ago. Part of the scene depicted in the world's oldest cave art, which shows half-animal, half-human hybrids hunting pigs and buffalo. An ancient Egyptian head cone was first found with the remains of a young woman buried in one of Amarna's graves. A lice-like insect was trapped in amber crawling and munching on a dinosaur feather. 
Newly discovered penguin species Kupau bustaweli lived after the dinosaurs went extinct and acts as a missing link between giant extinct penguins and the modern penguins in Antarctica today. This illustration compares the jaws and teeth of two predatory dinosaurs, Allosaurus left and Majungasaurus right. This is an artist's illustration of Najash Rianagrina in the dunes of the Kokorkum Desert that extended across northern Patagonia during the late Cretaceous period. The snake is coiled around with its hindlimbs on top of the remains of a jawbone from a small Chargeridontosaur dinosaur. University of South Carolina archaeologist Christopher Moore, second from right, and colleagues collect core samples from White Pond near Elgin, South Carolina, to look for evidence of an impact from an asteroid or comet that may have caused the extinction of large Ice Age animals such as saber-toothed cats and giant sloths and mastodons. Core samples from White Pond near Elgin, South Carolina, show evidence of platinum spikes in soot, indicative of an impact from an asteroid or comet. The Sosnagursk Lagoon as it likely appeared 372 million years ago just before a deadly storm, according to an artist's rendering. The newly discovered tetrapod can be seen in the left side of the image below the surface. Bronze goods recovered from a river in northern Germany indicate an ancient toolkit of a Bronze Age warrior. Mold pigs are a newly discovered family, genus and species of microinvertebrates that lived 30 million years ago. Fair Dracul and Tony was a pterosaur or flying lizard that lived among dinosaurs 96 million years ago. The fossil was found in Australia. These late Bronze Age feeding vessels were likely used for infants drinking animal milk. This is the first depiction of what mysterious ancient humans called Denisovans, a sister group to Neanderthals, looked like. This image shows a young female Denisovan, reconstructed based on DNA methylation maps. The art was created by Mayan Harrell. Researchers found a fossil of one of the oldest bird species in New Zealand. While its descendants were giant seafaring birds, this smaller ancestor likely flew over shorter ranges. A painting shows the new species of giant salamander called Andrea Sligoi, the largest amphibian in the world. After her discovery in 2013, Victoria's 66 million year old, fossilized skeleton was restored bone by bone. She's the second most complete T. rex fossil on record. An artist's illustration shows how different an ancient short-faced kangaroo called Simisthenurus occidentalis looked, as opposed to modern kangaroos. Its skull more closely resembles a cola. An artist's illustration of Cryodrakon boreas, one of the largest flying animals that ever lived during the Cretaceous period. Although researchers don't know the color of Cryodrakon's plumage, the colors shown here honor Canada, where the fossil was found. A graphic thermal image of a T-Rex with its dorsotemporal fenestra glowing on the skull. A complete skull belonged to an early human ancestor has been recovered in Ethiopia. A composite of the 3.8 million year old cranium of Australopithecus anamensis is seen here alongside a facial reconstruction. The remains inside grave IIIN 199, found under Prague Castle in 1928, belong to a man from the 10th century. His identity has been the subject of great debate for years. Vertebrae fossils of a previously undiscovered type of Stegosaurus were found in Morocco. Researchers say they represent the oldest Stegosaurus found. The La Chapelle aux Saints Neanderthal skull shows signs of external auditory exostases, known as surfer's ear growths, in the left canal. The Vincha Habera rock shelter in the Ethiopian Bale Mountains served as a residence for prehistoric hunter gatherers. The world's largest parrot, Heracles Inexpectatus, lived 19 million years ago in New Zealand. It was over 3 feet tall and weighed more than 15 pounds. Saber-toothed cats, direwolves and coyotes had different hunting patterns, according to a new study of predator fossils found in the La Brea tar pits. Researchers found 83 tiny glassy spheres inside fossil clams from a Florida quarry. Testing suggests that they are evidence of one or more undocumented meteorite impacts in Florida's distant past. This primitive dinosaur had a wide W-shaped jaw and a solid bony crest resembling a humped nose. An illustration of a microraptor as it swallows a lizard hole during the Cretaceous period. The well-preserved fossils of the microraptor and the lizard were both found, leading to the discovery that the lizard was a previously unknown species. The back of a skull found in a Grecian cave has been dated to 210,000 years ago. 
known as Apodema 1, right, researchers were able to scan and recreate it, middle and left. The rounded shape of Apodema 1 is a unique feature of modern humans and contrasts sharply with Neanderthals and their ancestors. A 33,000-year-old human skull shows evidence of being struck with a club-like object. The right side of the man's head has a large depressed fracture. The recently discovered fossilized femur of an ancient giant bird revealed that it weighed nearly as much as an adult polar bear and could reach 11 one half feet tall. It lived between 1.5 million and 2 million years ago. This jawbone belonged to a Neanderthal girl who lived 120,000 years ago. It was found in Skodina Cave in Belgium. This is an artist's illustration of the newly discovered dinosaur species Fistoria dimbingunmal. Radiocarbon dating has revealed that this Iron Age wooden shield was made between 395 and 255 BC. The incredibly well-preserved fossil of a 3-million-year-old extinct species of field mouse, found in Germany, which was less than 3 inches long, was found to have red pigment in its fur. A mass grave dated to 5,000 years ago in Poland contains 15 people who were all from the same extended family. This is an artist's impression of the Ambopteryx longibrachium, one of only two dinosaurs known to have membranous wings. The dinosaur's fossilized remains were found in Liaoning, in northeast China, in 2017. Reconstruction of a small Tyrannosauroid Cisciterenus hazeli from the late Cretaceous. Researchers have been studying Archaeopteryx fossils for 150 years, but new X-ray data revealed that the bird-like dinosaur may have been an active flyer. A 160,000-year-old Denisovan jawbone found in a cave on the Tibetan Plateau is the first evidence of the presence of this ancient human group outside the Denisova cave in Siberia. An artist's illustration of Simbakuba Kudakafrika, a gigantic carnivore that lived 23 million years ago. It is known from fossils of most of its jaw, portions of its skull and parts of its skeleton. It was a hyenidant, a now extinct group of mammalian carnivores that was larger than a modern-day polar bear. The right upper teeth of the newly discovered species Homo luzonensis. The teeth are smaller and more simplified than those belonging to other Homo species. The towering and battle-scarred Scotty is the world's largest Tyrannosaurus rex and the largest dinosaur skeleton ever found in Canada. Researchers discovered unknown species at the Qingjiang fossil site on the bank of the Danshui River, near its junction with the Qingjiang River in Hubei Province, China. During a study of the ancient Iberian population, the remains of a man and woman buried together at a Spanish Bronze Age site called Castilejo de Bonit showed that the woman was a local and the man's most recent ancestors had come from Central Europe. Durrington Walls is a late Neolithic hen site in Wiltshire. Pig bones recovered at the site revealed that people and livestock traveled hundreds of miles for feasting and celebration. An artist's impression of a Gallianosaurus dorisi heard on a riverbank in the Australian Antarctic Rift Valley during the early Cretaceous, 125 million years ago. The remains of 137 children and 200 llamas were found in Peru in an area that was once part of the Chimu state culture, which was at the peak of power during the 15th century. The children and llamas might have been sacrificed due to flooding. The tooth of an extinct giant brown sloth that lived in Belize 27,000 years ago revealed that the area was arid rather than the jungle that it is today. An artist's illustration of what the small Tyrannosaur Moros intrepidus would have looked like 96 million years ago. These small predators would eventually become Tyrannosaurus rex. Examples of tools manufactured from monkey bones and teeth, recovered from the late Pleistocene layers of Fa Hienlina Cave in Sri Lanka, show that early humans used sophisticated techniques to hunt monkeys and squirrels. Footprints thought to belong to Neanderthals have been found in the Catalan Bay sand dune. Two of the fossil specimens discovered in Korea had reflective eyes, a feature still apparent under light. An artist's illustration of Naimon Tukumoyo Amkia, a long-necked titanosaur from the Middle Cretaceous period recently found in Tanzania. Its tail vertebra has a unique heart shape, which contributed to its name. In Swahili, the name translates to animal of Mtuku with a heart-shaped tail. The oldest evidence of mobility is 2.1 billion years old and was found in Gabon. The tubes, discovered in black shale, are filled with pyrite crystals generated by the transformation of biological tissue by bacteria, found in layers of clay minerals. 
researchers recently studied climate change in Greenland as it happened during the time of the Vikings. By using lake sediment cores, they discovered it was actually warmer than previously believed. They studied at several sites, including a 21st century reproduction of Jotel's church on Eric the Red's estate, known as Bratelid, in present day Cassiarsic, Greenland. This is an artist's illustration of Antarctica 250 million years ago. The newly discovered fossil of a dinosaur relative, Antarctinac shackletoni, revealed that reptiles lived among the diverse wildlife in Antarctica after the mass extinction. Bone points and pierced teeth found in Denisova cave were dated to the early Upper Paleolithic. A new study establishes the timeline of the cave, and it sheltered the first known humans as early as 300,000 years ago. This artist's illustration shows a marine reptile similar to a platypus hunting at dusk. This duck-billed animal was the first reptile to have unusually small eyes that most likely required it to use other senses, such as the tactile sense of its duckbill, to hunt for prey. Although it's hard to spot, researchers found flecks of lapis lazuli pigment, called ultramarine, in the dental plaque on the lower jaw of a medieval woman. A Neanderthal fossil, left, and a modern human skeleton. Neanderthals have commonly be considered to show high incidences of trauma compared with modern humans, but a new study reveals that head trauma was consistent for both. The world's oldest figurative artwork from Borneo has been dated to 40,000 years ago, when humans were living on what's now known as Earth's third largest island. A 250,000-year-old Neanderthal child's tooth contains an unprecedented record of the seasons of birth, nursing, illness and lead exposures over the first three years of its life. An artist's illustration shows giant nocturnal elephant birds foraging in the ancient forests of Madagascar at night. A new study suggests that the now extinct birds were nocturnal and blind. Kibara II is the most complete Neanderthal fossil recovered to date. It was uncovered in Israel's Kibara cave, where other Neanderthal remains have been found. The world's oldest intact shipwreck was found by a research team in the Black Sea. It's a Greek trading vessel that was dated to 400 BC. The ship was surveyed and digitally mapped by two remote underwater vehicles. This fossil represents a new piranha-like fish from the Jurassic period with sharp pointed teeth. It probably fed on the fins of other fishes. The fossil skull of the young Diplodocus known as Andrew, held by Carrie Woodruff, director of paleontology at the Great Plains Dinosaur Museum. Two small bones from the Sina cave in Poland are the oldest human remains found in the country. The condition of the bones also suggests that the child was eaten by a large bird. This artist's illustration shows the newly discovered dinosaur species Ledumahati Mafub foraging in the early Jurassic of South Africa. Heterodontosaurus, another South African dinosaur, can also be seen in the foreground. A 73,000-year-old red cross hatch pattern was drawn on a flake of silicrete, which forms when sand and gravel cement together, and found in a cave in South Africa. A suite of Middle Neolithic pottery including typical Danilo ware, figulina and rida, that was used to hold meat, milk, cheese and yogurt. These four dinosaurs showcase the evolution of Alvarezsaurs. From left, Haplocharis, Zeunicus, Banicus and Shuguia reveal the lengthening of the jaws, reduction of teeth and changes in the hand and arm. Eordenchoshli sinensis is an early turtle that lived 228 million years ago. It had a toothless beak, but no shell. The leg bones of a seven-year-old, recovered from an ancient Roman cemetery, show bending and deformities associated with rickets. The famed Easter Island statues, called Moe, were originally full-body figures that have been partially covered over the passage of time. They represent important Rapa Nui ancestors and were carved after a population was established on the island 900 years ago. Researchers stand at the excavation site of Aubrey Hole 7, where cremated human remains were recovered at Stonehenge to be studied. New research suggests that 40% of 25 individuals buried at Stonehenge weren't from there, but they possibly transported stones from West Wales and helped build it. The fossil of the newly discovered armored dinosaur Canicephalus jensoni was found in southern Utah. The foot is one part of a partial skeleton of a 3.32 million year old skeleton of an Australopithecus afarensis child dubbed Selim. The asteroid impact that caused dinosaurs to go extinct also destroyed global forests, according to a new study. 
This illustration shows one of the few ground-dwelling birds that survived the toxic environment in mass extinction. The remains of a butchered rhinoceros are helping researchers to date when early humans reached the Philippines. They found a 75% complete skeleton of a rhinoceros that was clearly butchered, with 13 of its bones displaying cut marks and areas where bone was struck to release marrow, at the Kalinga archaeological site on the island of Luzon. This is just one of 26 individuals found at the site of a 5th century massacre on the Swedish island of Åland. This adolescent was found lying on his side, which suggests a slower death. Other skeletons found in the homes and streets of the Ringford at Sandby Borg show signs of sudden death by blows to the head. The skeleton of a young woman and her fetus were found in a brick coffin dated to medieval Italy. Her skull shows an example of neurosurgery, and her child was extruded after death in a rare coffin birth. This portion of a whale skull was found at the Calaveras Dam construction site in California, along with at least 19 others. Some of the pieces measure 3 feet long. A Stone Age cow skull shows trepanation, a hole in the cranium that was created by humans as a surgical intervention or experiment. On the left is a fossilized skull of our hominin ancestor Homo hidalbergensis, who lived 200,000 to 600,000 years ago. On the right is a modern human skull. Hominins had pronounced brow ridges, but modern humans evolved mobile eyebrows as their face shape became smaller. On the left is a 13,000-year-old footprint is found in the sediment on Calvert Island, off the Canadian Pacific coast. On the right is a digitally enhanced image, showing details of the footprint. A central platform at Star Car in North Yorkshire, England, was excavated by a research team studying past climate change events at the Middle Stone Age site. The Star Car site is home to the oldest evidence of carpentry in Europe and a built structures in Britain. This wall with paintings is in the La Pesiega cave in Spain. The latter shape of red horizontal and vertical lines is more than 64,000 years old and was made by Neanderthals. These perforated shells were found in Spain's Cueva de la Sabian Sea cave and date to between 115,000 and 120,000 years ago. Researchers believe these served as body ornamentation for Neanderthals. The earliest modern human fossil ever found outside of Africa has been recovered in Israel. This suggests that modern humans left Africa at least 50,000 years earlier than previously believed. The upper jawbone, including several teeth, was recovered in a prehistoric cave site. This is an excavated structure at the northern edge of the Grand Plaza at Tepescalia Yucunda in Oaxaca, Mexico. Researchers investigated a pestilent cemetery associated with a devastating 1545-1550 epidemic. New analysis suggests that salmonella caused a typhoid fever epidemic. Standing about 4 feet tall, early human ancestor Paranthropus Boisei had a small brain and a wide dish-like face. It is most well known for having big teeth and hefty chewing muscles. A grand grave of a great Viking warrior excavated during the 1880s has been found to be that of a woman. She was also buried with a gaming board in pieces, hierarchically associated with officers to use for battle strategy and tactics. The drawing is a reconstruction of how the grave with the woman originally may have looked. An illustration shows the dodo on Mauritius near the Maro Sanges, where many dodo skeletons have been recovered. A 5,000-year-old dog skull found in Germany underwent whole genome sequencing. It was found to be very similar to the genome of modern dogs, suggesting that all modern dogs are direct ancestors of the domesticated dogs that lived in the world's earliest farming communities in Europe. Rosanandrong of Sakalavi, or Rosanna, was one of the top predators of the Jurassic period in Madagascar 170 million years ago. Although it looks different from modern-day crocodiles and had teeth similar to a T-Rex's, Rosanna was not a dinosaur, but a crocodile relative with a deep skull. An artist's reconstruction shows Macrauchenia patachonica, which roamed South America thousands of years ago. Combining a range of odd characteristics from llamas and camels to rhinos and antelopes, Macrauchenia defied clarification until now and has been added to the Tree of Life. It belongs to a sister group of Parasodactyla, which includes horses, rhinos and tapirs. This prosthetic device was made for a priest's daughter who had to have her right big toe amputated 3,000 years ago. This surprisingly lifelike toe was made to look natural by a skilled artisan who wanted to maintain the aesthetic as well as mobility during the early Iron Age. It was designed to be worn with sandals, the footwear of choice at the time. 
The oldest fossil remains of Homo sapiens, dating back 300,000 years, were found at a site in Jebel Erhid, Morocco. This is 100,000 years older than previously discovered fossils of Homo sapiens that have been securely dated. The fossils, including a partial skull and a lower jaw, belong to five different individuals including three young adults, an adolescent and a child, estimated to be eight years old. Notosaurs were herbivores who walked on four legs and were covered in tank-like armor and dotted with spikes for protection. But this recently unveiled 110-million-year-old fossil is the most well-preserved of the armored dinosaurs ever unearthed. Microfossils found in China have revealed what could be our earliest known ancestor on the tree of life. Sacorhidus was a tiny, bag-like sea creature that lived 540 million years ago. In 2016, researchers discovered ancient collagen and protein remains preserved in the ribs of a dinosaur that walked the Earth 195 million years ago. By studying the skeleton of this medieval pilgrim, researchers have been able to genotype leprosy. They also discovered that leprosy-causing bacteria have changed little over hundreds of years, possibly explaining the decline in the disease after it peaked in medieval Europe as humans developed resistance. The discovery of a species that lived 6.6 million years ago in southwestern China suggests that ancient otters had wolf-like proportions and weighed roughly 100 ibs. The creature, whose skull was excavated in Yunnan province, would have been twice the size of today's otters. The tail of a 99-million-year-old dinosaur was found entombed in amber in 2016, an unprecedented discovery that has blown away scientists. The amber adds to fossil evidence that many dinosaurs sported feathers rather than scales. For the first time, researchers discovered genomic evidence of malaria in 2,000-year-old human remains from the Roman Empire. The discovery was made in 2016. Researchers found the first preserved dinosaur brain in history in 2016. They believe it was preserved due to the dinosaur dying in a swamp-like environment which mixed low levels of oxygen, known to slow decay, and acidity which can preserve soft tissue for long periods. It is 130 million years old. Click subscribe to receive the latest news.